liquid rubber in a can, or that's what they say it is. So let's see if it really is. Phil Swift here for Flex Seal, the easy way to coat, seal, and stop leaks fast. And now there's Flex Seal Liquid, the super thick rubber that you could pour right into cracks to stop water dead in its tracks. You could brush or roll on large areas for a watertight seal. Even dip all your tools. So I'm sure you knew exactly what I was talking about at the beginning. So yeah, it's good old Flex Seal. Um, this stuff, it's actually been really, really nice. I mean, I've actually gone through and used it a couple different applicants, uh, and, and we'll get to that in a second, but this stuff, when it's, what it says, what you can do on the, on the side here, uh, for roofs, uh, gutters, ponds, tools, cars, trucks, SUVs, R, uh, RVs, um, boats, yachts, crafts, you name it, uh, you really can use this for everything. Uh, there's not one applicant that I don't think that you could not use this with. That's one of the nice things about this. So the initial opening up this uh, this can, you're thinking it's, uh, what I was thinking, it was gonna be kind of like latex paint. Um, it's gonna be a little runny, uh, but a little thick at the same time. But I was completely wrong and it's not even runny at all. It's it's very, very thick. Uh, this stuff is, is so thick when you put it on I mean it's like it goes on in globs so you really have to make sure you're you're if you're if you're wiping on somewhere you have to make sure it's even um, because it goes on very very thick uh, which is nice for whatever applicant you want to do with so I had a couple different things um, one of the things I'm building a project with a desk and I wanted a rubber seal around the wood because it was plywood so you can see the layers well I thought of just using this. Um, put a, a, an application around the outside of the wood. I had to do it twice. Um, perfect. It worked out actually better than, than I can imagine at that point. There's only one thing about it. It is a mess. This stuff gets everywhere. Um, whatever you're trying to uh, put it on, make sure you have something underneath uh, that you can actually catch all of the droplets at that point. So in using this stuff, um, you can really use it any way you want. So they're saying you can use it on a roller, you can use it on a paintbrush, you can use it, pour it into the hole or whatever you're trying to fill at that point or, or fix or seal or whatever it is you're trying to do with it. Um, you can use it in any applicant possible. Um, one of the cool things that they actually mentioned is that using on tools. Now, what, which they showed in the commercial, they dipped a hammer in it. Okay, great. You know, you got a, a nice handle at that point, and it would work very, very well. Well, on here it says crafts, projects, and hobbies, and then also I saw um, exercise equipment and different things on the lines. So what I did is I went through and painted, uh, well, I guess painted because yeah, it's pretty much paint. Uh, I put the the flex seal on a uh, weight, a kettlebell. So this is the kettlebell here. It's a 10 pound kettlebell. Um, as you can see, I have it on the handle itself and it's still drying. This It's one of the things about this product is it takes a very long while to dry. On the can, it says up to 24 to 48 hours. That's probably about right. Uh, it does take a very long while for it to do. It also depends on the environment where you're having it stored. So. If it's outside and it's a warm day out, it could be a little sooner. If you have it and it's not very warm, or you have an overcast or it's rainy, which you shouldn't have it outside if it's rainy, um, but if it's colder, it is gonna take a little longer. So it depends on where you're gonna have it, obviously, is the drying time at that point. So the drying time or the drying process, just leave it alone. Do not touch it because you will mess it up. As I mentioned, I just got it in my hand because it does get everywhere. Um, make sure you are putting stuff down when you are going through and you are uh, using this product and what we're trying to use it with. So yeah, 
uh, a mess uh, as I just got my hand from this. And it, like I said, it's still wet. It's still wet, so um, I went through it and I'm just gonna wipe it off at this point. The other th that's the other thing. If you do get it on you or you do get it on anything else, it's easily to wipe off. Um, if it dries on your hand or dries anywhere, literally you can peel it right off. So my conclusion to this product is, should you buy it? Yeah, if you have the right project or you have something that you need to seal up from water or really anything, I would advise, go through, buy this. Um, the only thing is, is that it can be a little expensive. Um, I got a very small can. It did cost me $10 and I did see, I did see other places that had it for about $14, $15. So it can go up in price. And if you get a gallon of this stuff, you're looking at it being 30 to almost 40 bucks per gallon. So it can get very pricey. So if you need it, buy it. Uh, buy small if you know if you need it for a smaller project. Don't buy large because I don't know about the shelf life for this product and seeing how long it's gonna stay on your shelf without it uh, rotting out or drying out at that point. So yeah, uh, definitely buy it. And again, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you go through and you click that subscribe button to keep you in the loop for the next video. Also, if you have a comment, make sure you put them down there as well. If you like the video, make sure you put that there as well. And if you've used the product before, either been good or bad experience, I wanna hear, I wanna hear what you have to say about this product. Maybe you'll hear back from me. So, take care.